the fireworks go off and the drums start and it's like dush, dush, dush. And you're like, it's me, it's my turn. The lights, the lights of the Sambadrama, the way they hit you and know that everyone looks like you and you know that there's a thousand of people around. You feel like that moment is yours and you feel like everyone is looking just at you. My name is Laura Garcia. I'm a local guide from Brazil living in New York and I'm about to experience the carnival in Rio for the very first time, a dream of a lifetime. I was born in the countryside of Brazil in a city called Ribeirão do Pinhal. I've left Brazil seven years ago and every year I watch the carnival from the TV. Every year. There is always that dream to see the carnival from Rio, which is something that our family always watched on the TV. That dream is actually coming true. <laughs> I've been to the Samba Drum, what we call Marquês de Sapucaí, once. I was just driving by and I asked the cab to stop so I could have a look and just imagining what it would look like in Carnaval. <laughs> There are 12 different samba schools representing in different areas in Rio. So each school can have from three to 4,000 members, from which the vast majority is dedicated to people from the community. Just a section is up for sale for out-of-towners like me, and I was very fortunate to get a ticket to participate. My costume is about the flowers. I am not exactly sure where in the story I will be. Living outside where you come from makes you always look for your identity. But I am a Brazilian. I am so excited. I feel like I'm a five-year-old going to Disney World. So here's my take on local guides, and that's why I like it so much. First, I'm from Brazil. I've been to Rio many times. I know places here and there. We're gonna go overnight. When we get there, we need to get ready to party. part of the Carnival in Rio. They're called blocos because basically they are sections of the street where you stop to just party. Just dress it up, there's no formality. You can come and bring your friends and dress funny. You gotta be ready because they, they take a little while to happen, but when they pass by, they pass by real quick with live music and everybody dancing behind this car truck will start the procession and everybody else coming and partying with the block will come behind the truck. So this is the Leblon block of party and here you can see one of the most iconic views of Rio, Morro do Vidigal. Once the music is over, everybody goes to the beach to watch one of the best sunsets in the world. So Carnival really doesn't stop. You're gonna have to find places where you can recharge. This is La Suite by the Soul, it's a boutique hotel. Rio has such a unique geography that everywhere you are, Sunset gives you a different show. La Suite, very well-known place for its views and the great chef. Salud. Cheers to Rio, very to, to Carnival. We need one week to talk about Carnival, <laughs> I think. And I can tell you, this it, it's an yeah. experience that you need minimum once in life to be there. My favorite thing about the Brazilian cuisine is the unique flavors that you can only find in Brazil. What color of clothes do you have tomorrow? I'm gonna be pink and purple and you have, red. Do you have uh, earrings for that? No. I don't give you. No. Brazilian designers. Especially in Rio, they have a sense of taste that it's very Thank like you. high Thank level. You. Thank you. See you tomorrow, shining with Marzio. Avenue. <laughs>